Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nashan, we are playing the Sarnor 2. Uh, we are at the last part of this level, so I thought I'm gonna upgrade my skills because I think I have exactly 8 runes to use here. So let's just check out the skills and go over them here a bit and then we will continue afterwards. And uh, let's first check out the doppelganger skill. So this is, I think, one of the more unique uh, powers that Emily has that Cover doesn't have. Doppelganger summon a shade of yourself that attracts enemies. Strategic tips. Your doppelganger creates a diversion and flees from your enemies. Drawing attention away from you. Enemies that destroy your doppelganger will believe they have eliminated any threat in the area and will transition to a less alert state. Your doppelganger will also trigger security systems and attract hostile animals just as you would. So this is kind of what uh, in, uh, we can make a doppelganger that, that distract people. That's kind of interesting, but they will be uh, kill it and uh, then they will go. Yeah, it works kind of like a, a you a copy of yourself. So this one, when your doppelganger is destroyed and disappears, it leaves behind a cloud that encapsulates enemies for a few seconds. There was a cloud in the uh, DLC in the first game where you can throw it. I think I can't remember the correct term for it, but that was kind of like if you throw it on an enemy, they will forget about it afterwards. Or I don't think this one will, though. It will just encapsulate them for a small while. Summon a doppelganger that can fight enemies and assassinate uh, when undetected. So that is kind of fighting doppelganger. Swap places with your summoned uh, doppelganger. Use this to escape dangerous situations. Move to a strategically better spot. Or if timed right, to escape enemies by making them think you are dead. So yeah, the, the, this is an interesting thing because it was a possessed form when you're playing Corvair, at least in the first game. I'm not sure about the skill here, but this is kind of more, you can, you can get, switch places with your uh, doppelganger, which will open up interesting things. But the only thing about your doppelganger is that uh, the enemies will treat it as their enemy. So yeah. It doesn't have the advantage of possessing a person where you can sneak into the places just by uh, being inside their body. So this just summons two more doppelgangers, not that interesting. I think this is a more interesting uh, skill. I would say that it's the Amelie's capstone of her skill 3 that is unique for her. Link human targets so that they die or fall unconscious together. Dominic links two human targets. While the power is active, any action taken affects all links targets. For instance, quickly encapsulate multiple enemies using a single sleep start, reducing the risk of alarm, or kill multiple linked enemies simultaneously if outnumbered in a fight. Combine Domino with other powers to create surprising and interesting effects. For instance, summon an a doppelganger and link it to an enemy. Any, any, any damage you deal to your own doppelganger will be shared by the link enemy. This is kind of interesting. We can use, uh, you can be just summon your own doppelganger and then you can choke it out. And uh, when, when it's linked to an enemy, it will choke out your enemy from far, uh, far. This is one of the skills I wanted to take, actually. So let's get it here. Well, what we get when we upgrade here, we can link, link up to four enemies, but three enemies is quite impressive. And so, uh, but yes, so you have to link them together first. So I'm not sure how this works. I have to try it out here. I think we have a good opportunity just outside this pause menu to play around with two enemies. It should be a good test case. So what I also want to upgrade as usual when I'm playing, I want this as fast as possible because this allows us to see objects and security systems through the walls. So yeah, mostly for the objects because it makes it easier to load things because the objects will be highlighted. 
Uh, this is interesting and new for the Dishonored series. We have this line's enemy routes and their current destination. Enemy routes and their intended destinations are now visible to use. Use this information to avoid enemies or lure them into traps. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so mes mesmerized is also one of Emily's special skills here. Uh, summon a void spirits to enfold human hounds. Mesmerize creates a void entity that capitates two humans or hounds, then removes their short-term memory. Only those mesmerized can see the summoned en entity. Allies of those enthralled will notice their strange behavior and suspect a hostile present in the area. Mesmerize will always enthrall the closest lever target. Use it to avoid a group of enemies who would be unaware of what's happening around them or use it in combat and falling enemies and making them vulnerable to your attacks. So this is kind of cool. You can mesmerize them for a while, which will make uh, them weird. They, they will, and afterwards, they will not remember this doing, but if someone, say, or someone of the enemies see, uh, they would act weird. But this is kind of interesting in what I was talking earlier about this cloud you have uh how it worked how the cloud you you can throw well, i think it was item you throw it inside your enemies and then it will uh, mesmerize them too and make them confused and then they will forgot that it happened so it wouldn't affect uh, your score because they will be just confused. So uh, this is this is interesting also because then this uh, of course makes it stronger up to four enemies in this three. The duration is also available here. So we have also uh, another interesting skill here. Assume a stealthy form for a short time. During Shadow Walk, your visibility is reduced. Make it harder for your enemies to detect you. Don't get too close. However, a moving shadow will arouse suspicion. In this state, you can assassinate or incapacitate one enemy before returning to your physical form. So this will make me do a kind of a blurry shadow. What I think is most, most interesting about this one is the rat shadows one. Move through the rat tunnels in your stealthy form. Strategies, rat shadows open up new pathways. While in the stealthier forms, you can pass through rat tunnels, which can lead to remote areas, and also allows you to bypass hostile encounters. Yeah, I really want to enter because it's opened up a lot more and improved shadow attack, assassinate. This is more the offensive one, and so we can uh, we can take care of free enemies this one would make it easier to take people out because we can it's all actually we must remember it says incapacitate and that means knock them out we, we can use it that with your shadow run active your movement speed is increased while you are in stealthier form so that is here and then we have the more uh, uh, normal ones here throw objects uh, farther and uh, stronger and uh, we can break down doors a lot faster Vitality is making your health increases, which is not that important because if we are getting screwed, we are screwed here. And uh, this will make us better fighters because we can glide faster and lock longer and blah, blah, blah. And the only one that's kind of interesting for me is increase your jump height and distance. Uh, and maybe can't fall because I, li I don't like to fall to my death. Shadow, uh, shadow kill and turn uh, unaware enemies to ash. This is interesting if you're playing more uh, aggressively because as soon as you kill someone, they will just disappear uh, completely from the map. So you, will, you will not have to transport any bodies or any things. Bonshon crafting is also a skill I want. I think I want to get a little, we actually can afford it. So let's go for it because it just costs one. So yeah, craft your own bone charm by selecting a combination of your mystical traits and expanding raw whale bone as a resource. The traits effect are cumulative. If you use traits more than once, its effect stacks, becoming stronger. 
Sometimes bone charms get corrupted during crafted and will also have negative traits. One shot with three or four traits are more likely to be corrupted. Sacrifice bone charms to discover new traits and gain raw whale bone. It's cool. So that's very nice. So we can create our own bone charm. So that's the inter uh, interesting thing. And Bloodthirst is just uh, if you're going on Killing Spirit and playing very aggressively. Uh, this allows you to be more effective at because with this enchantment, your action commons will allow you to build up Adderlin. As an Jason, attacking with a sword, pairing and drop assassination all increase Adderlin. Once you build up your Adeline, you can initiate a powerful sword attack that will kill an enemy in one blow. So yeah, that makes you a super fighter. So yes, we have a lot of options. Cool, but we were going for the most healthy one. So, we have a new skill here. We are first, in, uh, first of all, we spent some, uh, made our dark vision better so we can see um, through walls and see objects from view. But this is the one I'm kind of interesting in uh, the domino effect. So, I can link two enemy targets together. So, what happens to one of them will happen to both of them. I just need to find some new enemies. I'm sure there are someone over here. Okay, let's see. So let's smoothly go up here. And the reason why I want to upgrade jump is that I can jump up places a little bit faster. So we have a, a, red, a grand guard over there. I think I have to save here because I'm not sure how this domino skill works. I just read about it. So I'm not sure. So what I'm doing here, I'm <laughs> keeping us behind uh, this pillar here. So he doesn't see us. I saw him standing over there, so I think if we wait until he is just past here. I thought I have made it. I should think that's just okay. Obvious. This has. They have to be closer to a. Okay. They have to be close together to this work to work, I think. So, the, yeah. But, yeah, the result works anyway. But, yeah, I really wanted to try out our new skill. But it didn't work out there. Okay, let's check out our new, new Dark Vision. It's pulse faster now. Uh, it's your fault. You have a helmet, so you can take it. Uh, so, is there something down here that is worthwhile checking out? In, while in dark vision, it's kind of hard to uh, see what you are actually dealing with. Okay, I don't think there. How did them, these guys come up here? There are no stairs, but they are probably doors over here. So yeah, I'm just trying to... Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I want to go there. But is dark vision better when I'm upgraded? Let's see, wait for the pulse. No, we still have a fairly limited range of our dark units. So how can I get down here stealthy? Can I? Sometimes you can just break stuff and go down, but that's kind of noisy. Yeah. Is there? We could break the window. That is always option, but it will attract attention. But I don't think they can. Uh, reach me here. Wait. Okay. Corvus dog vision was a lot better because yeah, you can see. Your... I 
think we have to break the window of the we and I definitely want to go I definitely want to go upstairs, but so let's transport them over here. Remember I'll put one of them there. The reason why I'm moving them is uh, if in case they're coming up when I break the window. So which window will I want to break? This one, I think. So let's do it from an angle. And we always break it. I don't think we attracted any uh, attention, actually. That was kind of surprising. Uh, More bad things have happened here but I would definitely want to go in there. Because it's a, we haven't been here. Is there something I can go use here? Can I use this land? Okay. I have no uh, idea of the layout of this building, but I think this guy is alone, so we can... At least that will not uh, make it difficult for us to get here. Okay. I saw him walking in that way, as soon as he walked there, we will pounce down and to get here. River crust is more likely. That sounds... Awfully close here. I gotta get a spare uniform. Oh, we have a, what, a different. Oh, what? What's going on here? I just moved on this tiny ledge. Okay. I don't think it's a safe there because I think there is, there is a guy there. But he looks like he's sleeping. So. Let's go here. No way. Come on. Strike at me then. What are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah, he saw me. I know you're here somewhere. Shit. Lost her. Oh. Can't have gone far. I was hoping for that guy to be asleep, that's why I went to that thing, but yeah. I don't have any sleep darts either, so I'm not... Or I don't want to waste any sleep darts. Wish I could throw rockets. Wait. Do we... Hand something? Let's see. Arranged... If we can get him and knock it right in the hand, it will knock him out. If we get him right into the head. Yeah, so now we can work out to the higher difficulty where we, uh, where it will take a lot longer time until they calm down. Maybe just you just... Okay, so this is taking a way too long time. I just want to go there and check if there is something interesting. And it probably is nothing, and now I'm wasting time just waiting here. I want to reset. I could use the save, but I think it's cheating. I have to learn from my mistakes. And it was stupid of me. Of course, he was not sleeping. He was just sitting on there on the desk. But it was my wishful thinking uh, that he was sleeping. That was my wishful thinking. Why should he be sleeping on the desk, sitting on the desk? Yeah, it was just because I wanted to go there, and that would would, would make it easy. Maybe we can. Let's 
get their dark vision going. We I see I see objects. Into that saloon of Palos, shooting dice or chasing the ladybirds. Crone's hand? Are you kidding? It's all hours in there. So don't wear your uniform. Okay, let's see if we can get Domino working this time. They even stock They're close dogs. together. Ah, man. Let me know next time. <laughs> Why isn't Domino not working? I thought. That, do I have to hold it while doing it or something? I almost died here. Yeah, I almost died here. I have to check how that works because that was. Well, let's see. Health. Okay, let's use my blue thing. So. So here we have the contraption is controlling the wall of light inside this building. But we are currently at the lower floor. I think I, throw, uh, I fall down all the way down, yeah. Yeah, I fall, fall down, I fell all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> so yes, that was kind of surprising. I thought it was on the second floor, but it doesn't. Uh, uh, but uh, it doesn't make a big difference. I wanted to check this out too. We don't have any rewire, so let's see. Huh? So, or sometimes a. Oh yeah, damn! This is not good. Let's go on the corner. <laughs> okay, we are emptying this place out a bit here, so yes. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, I have to run. Let's, let's, where are you? There. <laughs> okay, that that was close. Oh, I'm messing this up. Okay. But at least I've taken him out. I'm not going through mana, mana, but yeah. So he is standing in this direction. Did someone spot me? They're also sensible. Bleed all the same. Come out! Oh yeah, so I'm going in slow motion here, so I don't get the wrong skill. Wasn't there a guy in here? I believe so, but if I go closely... Yeah, we have him here. <clears throat> Is he the only one? Let's uh, be... Interesting place. Should I try to pounce on him? I'm just afraid that I will clip into the lambert and I don't want to get, get my knockout. Hey. Yeah, I think that, that was exactly what happened. Interesting. This place is a lot huger than I, it looks from the outside. Um, let's see. I want to place him somewhere safe. Yeah, I clipped the lamp. As you can see, <laughs> that was happened why I didn't get my drop assassination. Well started. Okay. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, you stay over there. Let's check here. 
Where was that? Where, where was that sound coming from? I think it Come was to. I don't have time for games. Things is a little bit hard. Come on. Won't hurt you. Yeah, this is him. Not in the mood. Show yourself. Is he kind of alone there? I think so. I'll find you, you know. Hey, who is it? Die! Die already! I hit hard! Time to go. Look at me! Where did you go? Oh, yeah. Totally messed that up. So this is just the stairs going around here. Okay. Oh. I'm kind of going to go gone very aggressive, yeah. If I wanted for a go uh, go for the ghost, uh, I could probably go for the ghost and we'll do it actually. It's, it's not like... I'm not just not trying at all. Because it's a lot quicker for me to play the game without having to worry about the ghost. Uh, so we have some a couple of books over there, that's nice. I can see them here. And just so let's read this the Isle of Circonos. Have you read this? Uh, Circonos, the jewel of the south, is best known for its warm winds, spiced foods, and endless species. While the city of Colero see the heaviest flow of travelers from across the isles. Kanaka, on the southernmost edge of the known world, is preferred among the elite of the empire. It is said that a month spent resting beneath the sun of the bishop of Circanus, or a wish within one of the rural villages, can cure most maladies. And travelers bring back recipes and styles from the south and the dances that all Sarkonos learn in their youth are favored in crystal for their sensuality, copied by the fashionable atrocity in capital city of Dunwall. The only persistent trouble in Sarkonos originates, originates uh, along the string of tiny islands stressing away from the mainland to the uh, east. For generations, pirates have hidden among the arbitrary. <laughs> so why can't I read? Raid, uh, raiding uh, traders passing between the islands, and most more recently, attacking whaling ships, returning with the rich stores of gold. Well, that was a really bad reading compared to other ones. So it was being, but yes, I shouldn't probably. Pro okay, let's see. I'm going for mana here a lot. Let's see if I can... Oh, I have Let's just check here so we don't miss anything. Okay, cracked. Crack, uh, cracked onion plate. Benny, I think the onion plate is cracking again in this carriage. Maybe the last well didn't take. Riding back from other mine, it was grinding something terrible. We'd be lucky if it makes the trip even once more. Need to get one of these one of the rails and into the shops for a tear on. Yeah, so there's something about that is cracked. So, um, oh yeah, so I understand if you was playing for the ghost writing, that is kind of clue that the carriage we are about to take outside there is nothing in the safe. The carriage I was about to leave this level is making an awful a lot of sound, sounds. So that's... Uh, that's what's going on. Clerks! Uh, so... Let's go to the clerks. And as you can see, we in the, this is where you go inside while you go into the mouse traps. Let's check out the clerks. That was a nice, nice jump. Did you see that? I just jumped to it, yeah. So that's why I want to improve jump, because then I don't have to use blink. I have... Oh. You already been here? And I can... That guy is still there. So let's go over here. And we need to get our revenge on that guy. 
I could yell some forage behind him. And uh, what I want to knock his head right into the ground so he can be punished for his bad behavior. It's kind of like we have take, taken out most of the troops here, so let's do a dark vision here. So that was for the wall of light. We fixed that so we can go go. Okay, let's just go here first. I thought someone just got spook. It was kind of that sound, that's why I went. Oh, he is seeing me. I remember that tiny latch over there, that's why I could blink there, because yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit screwed here. I think I will have to create a oh, create a way to escape here, so let's see. Oh, that was right into the window. That was a miscalculation of the worst kind. So which window did I break? I think it's... I think it's under me somewhere. Show yourself and state your name. No, I don't want to state my name. Okay. Let's just put the arrow through that too. And then we will go in slow motion because we are... Okay, cool. Okay, that was a really weird place to go. <laughs> Let's break another window. For it. Yeah, I thought I could get that. Okay, let's finish the episode here. Yeah, there has been a lot of messing around and not doing so much real stuff here. Sorry, guys. Wanted, yeah, it was that kind of episode. I wonder if I just can get him here if he was around here. So we have one gun that was up over there, another one over there, and now Carriage is there. So we will probably finish the last episode here soon, yes. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for watching. Why do I do I need to say thank you to yeah, you guys were thanking twice, so yes, that was everything.